What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a live stream of the full retail version of WarioWare Gold on the Nintendo 3DS. I'm using my European 3DS right now because Europe has the game a week earlier than North America. So we're going to go through the entire game. Start to final boss. It's going to be a great one. So thanks for coming. All of you guys that have uh, been fans of WarioWare, we got a brand new one. A lot of the games are recycled, but newer versions of them. And of course, you're going to be pleasantly surprised with all of the new mini games too. So, whoo, man, I am ready for this. I hope you guys are too. We are going to be doing a giveaway of a copy of the game. So make sure that you guys answer our comment question of the day, which is which micro game is your favorite? Of course, let us know in the comments once the video loads up. But of course, uh, there's some more information in the description, so check that out. So anyway, uh, I played this game on my entire ride home from Vegas. So we're going to start up a new file, and we're going to go from the very beginning. So let's do this. I don't have too many me's here. All I have is uh, <laughs> the default me and then me. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, if you guys have me's, you can choose any me that you guys want. It's going to be a fun one. So here we go. Right off the bat, we got uh, 10,000 coins just for showing up. Wow, what are you going to do with coins, Abdallah? Well, you're going to need a lot of coins if you want to get this game 100%. And I don't know, I don't I don't think I'm going to do this game 100%. The unlock requirements and all the extra missions in the game are really insane. So, I mean, there's a lot of replayability in the game. So I'm just putting it out there. There's a lot to it. So, anyway, let's jump in. So here we go. This is uh, the main menu. It's me, Wario. What are you waiting for? Check out my big tournament. Want to fast forward this message, uh, then press Y. Oh, that's great. I didn't realize you can fast forward the message. Maybe if I actually took the time and read them. So here we go. There's a couple different game modes that you will unlock as you play the game, but today is all about the story mode. So let's go through story mode and see what we got. <laughs> let's get this show on the road. Like, who is that kid, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Uh, don't interrupt my performance here, little girl. <laughs> He's like, uh, alright. So, what do you guys think of the voice acting? Voice acting is pretty interesting. Like, you don't often hear Wario talk in full sentences other than, I'm a Wario, I'm a gonna win, right? From uh, Mario Kart. Anyway, so we shelled out 10,000 coins for the tournament fee, so now we get to participate in the tournament, which is great. Okay, so uh, in the main story of WarioWare, we're going to go through all the different characters. Raise your hand in the comments if you can name some WarioWare characters. I want to hear some. I want to hear some WarioWare characters. There have been a lot of new characters all throughout the different games of WarioWare. Uh, yeah, my favorites are, I like Mona, I like Orbulon, um, who else do I really like? Um, I like, eh, Jimmy's okay. Ashley's really cool. Yeah, anyway. So here we go, there are three main types of games. There is going to be the MASH ones, which is the MASH League right over here. There's also the Twist League, where you can go through and play Twist mini games. And then over here is the Touch League, where you're gonna go through and uh, play Touch mini games. So yeah, there we go. Some of you guys like them. You chumps ready to mash some stuff? You'd better be. Find the buzz control pad and the A button. You'll need those to squeeze out a win. Not hard enough for you? Some games use just this, some just this. Is that too much to handle? <laughs> now then, make like a potato and mash. <laughs> so we're gonna make like a potato and mash right now. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, I'm keeping out. Okay, so just with this mini game, wow. Okay, so I guess I have to introduce the people who are not familiar with WarioWare, is you have to do these micro games. And each of these micro games, they're like so fast and you have to like, Figure out what you need to do really quick. 
And with the mash buttons, or the mash league, you have to use the D-pad and the A button in order to beat the levels. They're kind of hard, but at the same time, they're kind of easy. Like this, you just move around, you stomp stuff. It's like, it's like quick rapid fire. That's what WarioWare is all about. Like rapid fire micro games. How many of them? Four? One, two, three, four. You guys can play along with, right? Little babies. Little babies in our hand. <laughs> Alright, so what do we- Spotlight. Alright, so I'm gonna move the spotlight and make sure that Wario's there, right? I don't- I don't think I need to narrate what I need to do in every single one of these because the command comes up. <clears throat> the command comes up and then you simply- Oh gosh, yeah, you simply just press the button. That's as best as I can say over here. So I'm, I'm moving, and then I'm pressing the A button, and then uh, I'm able to tackle. But see, it's awesome because the developers over at uh, Nintendo have fully utilized the top and bottom screen, which is super awesome. Very, very awesome. Anyway, shoutouts to 8-Bit Blackout for coming on board as a sponsor. Thanks for doing that. Welcome. <laughs> that was huge. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Okay, so we just earned uh, 600 coins just for doing that. That was awesome. I can't believe I have my little alert on that big. Uh, let's put the alert on over here somewhere. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, thank you for sponsoring. I'll put my alert right over here on screen in case you guys want to do that. Okay, so way to go. We earned 600 coins. Pretty great. Uh, now, there is a little bit of a gotcha mechanic in this game. You can twist in order to do that, or you can absolutely just press the uh, the touch screen with your stylus and you can go from there. So every time you uh, like see a, a, a cutscene or something, you earn them in the entire like cutscene area. So we unlock the index, we un unlock the arcade, you unlock a whole bunch of things just by playing the first level. So here we go, we're moving on. We're gonna go on to the MASH League. You guys remember Jimmy T? Oh dude, Jimmy T is, his little cutscene's really hilarious. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, uh, it'd be real groovy. Speaking of groovy, I got a cool set of sports games for you to try. Now let's get moving. Yeah, Jimmy T hype in the chat. He's He's got a little friend too. I like him. I like this little cutscene. Let me guess. Fans, am I right? Uh, kinda. That obvious, huh? Hey, Jimmy always knows. Can we get a pic? Uh, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on! He's got a cat in his hair. Wow, uh, that was something. These are so good. Can we get a few more? You know it. He's like, I don't have anything better to do today. Just take pictures of me. Oh, check out this. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, do a kickflip. You like that? Almost. All right, sports mini games. He shoots, he scores, baby. It's easy, right? Easy mode. <laughs> squat? Ugh! Yeah, do one squat and get perfect tens. So good. Bouncing? Yeah, what is- what even is this minigame? <laughs> uh, here we go. Push! Out of here! Whoa, hey now! Get out of here! Push him down, man! He juked me out, though. Like Captain Toad. Okay, fence. Oh, no way. Sorry. Block him. Block him. Nice. Keep up, man. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Hurtling in the sunset. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Who's first? This guy's first. Get him. Oh, yeah. See, they're just, they're just so rapid fire. We're going to get used to this real quick. Punch the drops. Oh yeah! Punch a droplet of rain off the house. What? Cat's doing some dance moves, apparently. 
Oh, I gotta catch this one. Oh yeah, big glove. Oh, what a- oh, okay, um, that was like a zero power kick, but we still made it. Cool. Come in first. Oh, go, 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 go! <laughs> it's like, your brain has to adjust every single time. Alright, so here we go, boss stage. I don't need the stylus at all yet. Knockout. Okay, this is, uh, against Lee Kasoop. You guys know Lee Kasoop? He's got a leak head, like leak soup. It's like a play on, on the word, leak soup. Give me that! We're playing punch out over here, dude. That's leak soup. What you know about leak soup? <laughs> All right, so Jimmy's is done, man. That's it. Super easy. This totally made our night. Let me send you the best shot. Groovy. It's of the cat. Yes. Oh, kitty. See ya. Your cat is so cute. The cutest. Let's roll. That was nice. What can I say? I love myself a little feline, and you're gonna love your next opponent, Mona. Wow, really? He that's he he did say that. Oh, <laughs> uh, they snuck that right in there, didn't they? <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, movie night on the town. So, did you guys think that that's what was happening? Let me know in the chat. Did you guys know that they're not really there for Jimmy, but they're here, here there for his cat? Anyway, so this is Mona. I'm psyched you made it to the second stage of the MASH League. I'm about to head over to Joe's Clothes to find the perfect outfit for my party tonight. Come along and check out the games I put together for you. Their theme is That's Life. Come on, let's motor. Right on time. So remember when Mona was a pizza delivery girl? I don't know where to start. Hey, Mona. You need help with something? Yes, my big party's tonight. And I still don't have a dress. Let's try this. Close your eyes. And then imagine your perfect dress. <laughs> Great. Go ahead and describe it to me. It's extravagant like a parfait and cute like a plushie. I think I can work with that. And super cool like Wario. Cool? Wario? Yeah, he's my fashion icon. I love him. And that stash. Stash? Why? <laughs> I love your look too, Joe. Like that tie. It just screams fashion. What? You mean this old thing? But anyhow, did that work? Tell me what to wear. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I, I think so like a parfait, but also like Wario. What about that one? You really think I've got style? Maybe I should consider wearing this tie more often. Uh, Mona? Mona? I'm trying this on! Tell me what you think! Oh! Coming! No pizzas. Heavier! Which one's heavier? This one! These turtles are heavier. Alright, so we're just giving her clothes to try on. And then she tries them on. That's great. Dodge? Oh, yeah, dude. Don't look at your phone while you're walking, man. You're gonna get knocked out. Match the look? Oh, I got it. Yeah! Dude, you guys don't have a giant rat that cuts your hair? What are you talking about? Alright, get this toast. Oh yeah! Because that's what you do in real life, right? You will, you wait till it flies up into the air and then you catch it. Pour. I'm gonna pour right here. That, whenever there's like a turn, it always goes at the turn. So, some of you guys may be confused on that one. Anyway, here you go. So we're gonna cover the kitty. Make sure the kitty- Oh, 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 oh. What do you mean rats don't do that? Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Go! <laughs> you, did. It, you gotta go to the bathroom, man. I'm telling you. All right, here we go. Which one? Oh, I gotta go find my car. My car, my car is the orange one. Here we go. Are we just calling an Uber? Let's go. I'm in the orange car. Link. It's the Zapfish. It's the great. It's the great Zapfish. All right, here we go. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we are gonna do squirting on that ketchup, ketchup and fries. Do you guys put ketchup like on your fries like that or do you dip? Do you guys dip your fries into like a little pool of ketchup? Let me know what you do in the comments. Do you guys like pour it all over and then you eat or do you do like a little pile and you dip from there? Count! Three moles! <laughs> Keep up, okay? Catch! Eat that whole pizza! 
The whole pizza he caught in his mouth. That's impossible. No one's gonna do that. Searching for a, a striped cat? I think it's that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Sniff that booger. Squirt your eye. Reprieve! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Counting. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Pounding! Oh, the nail! This was this was actually one of the first bosses in the entire series. This was in WarioWare for Game Boy. Advance. Boss battles, man. That's actually a pretty good look. Nice of you to think of me. It has been a while since I put myself out there. Oh no, I'm late for my own party. Of course, I don't know what I would wear. See you there, bye. But if you think I've got style, uh, Mona, wait up! Wait, he's as big as a doorway? Hold on, maybe the doorway had some sort of magnification on it. I don't know that glass. Way to go, this party is sure to be my most fashionable one yet. Say hi to Dribble and Spitz for me. I will. Dribble and Spitz, those guys are awesome. I love the cat. So we're earning some more coins, and we're going to need a lot of coins in this game. So we'll, we'll get a whole bunch. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the game uh, so far. If you guys are, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's go. Cranking, cranking, cranking. What do we get? Okay, so we got uh, some, some movie, and now we get to play again. Okay, so Dribble and Spitz, you made it to the third stage of the MASH League. My business partner Spitz and I are about to take a detour into space and drop off a customer. We got a bunch of fantasy games that'll keep you busy during the drive. You ain't afraid of lasers, are ya? Are you guys afraid of lasers? Give me a yes or no in the chat. Here we go. Afraid of lasers? No. Well, I guess a laser can destroy you. You guys ever see the first Resident Evil movie? But these the galactic fairs are the real money makers. Uh, didn't we just get stiffed? Good. Yikes! That was a close one. These buffoons, can't they see we're driving here? Stay cool, Dribble. B but Spit still scratch the car. You kidding? That there's a spaceship. It could do way worse than a scratch. I guess. It's all about staying cool, like with the customers. Oh, Spitz, you always stay so level-headed. Hey, what's that thing headed this way? It's a laser! You turn! We're not gonna make it! <laughs> <sighs> I guess it could be worse. That's it, fuckos. Huh? First we get sniffed, and now this! Dribble the Octobozooka! Well, I'm on it, but Spitz, ain't we supposed to stay cool and all that? I'm not just gonna sit here and let these punks knock us around. They wanna fight, they got one! Stay cool, Spitz! Stay cool! Spitz! The Octoblazooka. Hmm... Alright, here we go. So we're gonna be blasting stuff. I'm shooting this! Yeah, what was that? Peter Pan and something? A fairy? I'm matching. Okay, the chicken with the... this one. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, that one. <laughs> See? Right? It's like you gotta, gotta figure it out at the beginning. So here we go. What do we got? Uh, find treasure. Oh, this is easy. Moving forward and over and done. Take a look at the map. Escape! No! My family! <laughs> a, jo a glass, a shot glass on the moon trying to destroy us. Okay, yeah! Voltron, we got him, man. Beware. Watch out for my eyes! Hi. I think that's what I- honestly, I always lost that level. Okay, scare him. Rah, rah. What is this thing? He's wearing a thong. Weird. <laughs> nom 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 nom. 
See, that one's easy. There's a lot of them where you just have to press the A button the entire time. Outwit. Uh, you can attack now. What will you do? Gouda magic or good magic? <laughs> We're gonna use good magic. And they incorporate the name of your me in that one too. I like that. So don't trip. Jump! Steer. Oh, the paper plane! Yes! I love paper plane! <laughs> yeah, dude. That's paper plane, man. That's Gen 1 WarioWare. Favorite game. Yo. Paper plane recolor. Right there. Ninja. Sidestep. Open. While holding A, press right. That was pretty easy. The most wins. Uh, there's four of those guys, three of those guys. Nice. The uh, squids versus the Oct uh, Octarians, right? Warm up, warm up. Oh, got to roll. Yeah. Oh. Things are going pretty fast now. Shoot the question mark. Bossy. Or boss exclamation mark. <laughs> Bossy. All right, here we go. So we made it. It, it speeds up. That's what WarioWare is all about. And now... Oh, we're going to pick our nose. Oh, I love this one. This one's really good. <clears throat> we're going to pick some noses. You guys ready? Pew! Oh, got him. Twofer. Pew. Pew. Oh, yeah. Pick some noses right right in the middle. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, missed. Yeah, we're going to laser the noses. Because in the very first WarioWare, there's a mini game where there was like a pinky that went like left and right and you had to press the A button and then it went straight up your nose. <laughs> and then the hard version was like the two-fingered one. Um, and that one was just like, that one went viral. People love that minigame. So now we're just like seeing the 2018 version of it. Hello, boing! You boing! Doink! And we're out of here. A gigantic nose, dude. Now, who's next? That's it. We chased them all off. Oh, are you saying we won? Yeah, I guess we did. That's nuts. We're alive. See that? All you gotta do is stay cool. Yeah, cool. Exactly. It's like that old saying. Fortune favors the coup. Let's just go home. Ain't life grand, Dribble. Ain't life grand. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, 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 seven. Call Dribble and Spitz. Nice going. Let me know if you need a ride. Uh, it's usually not that dangerous. Now go on. Five volts waiting for you. All right. Do you guys know who Five Volt is? Let me know in the chat. You guys may know her from uh, what is that? Gamer. Where she comes out and she screams at Nine Volt. Cool cabbies. Five Volt. Five Volt. Five, you've arrived at the final stage of the match league. Good for you. I'm five volt most of the time. I'm chasing after rambunctious fourth grader. Uh, so whenever I get a chance to kick back and unwind, I take it. My games are all inspired by Nintendo classics, games and toys I played as a kid. Enjoy. All right. You guys don't know some of you guys. It is nine volts mom. Nine volt has been one of the most popular characters I would say. Nine volt and Mona, because nine volts got all the Nintendo themed games. better start on dinner. Hey shoppers, it's time to sparkle. Or not, this looks good. See it, like it, buy it, own it, love it, and it is a hot new frying pan. Frying pan? It's tough enough, coat it with sprinkle sprinkles. What? Heat sprinkle like sprinkles. Eases back pain, makes your kids super smart, and you a millionaire. Wow, what, really? Like it? Yes? Don't buy it just yet. Now it's time to Work those muscles, shoppers! Uh, what? That's right, my friends. These pants are heavy. Heavy a ton per pan! Who in the world bought this up? So before you buy, give this workout a Maybe I will. You two can bench friends. Aren't muscles just the absolute best? We'll get started right after the break! Who needs a break? I'm ready to go now. One ton each? Impossible. Oh, yeah! Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Perfect. 
Best mini games right here. Mario Kart! Yeah! Rainbow Road! You're a star. Pop two. Oh yeah, give me one. Balloon fight. I <laughs> love balloon fight, dude. That's balloon fight's good. Throw it. Uh oh, watch it. Go! Virtual boy, man. What you know about that? Yank! Oh, go, go, go! Grab. Ice climbers! Give me that thing! Oh, I actually lost one! I lost a minigame! No! <laughs> Lame! Yo, not a joker. I thought I was gonna go on a perfect streak, but the controls on that one is really hard. Like, there's not enough forward momentum, there's no acceleration off of Popo. Popo, man, what you doing to me, dude? Aim for the eye. With this one, you can just, um, spam the A button. It's Kid Icarus, man. Defeat the- Oh, yes! Crumb! Crumb versus Victor, dude. A Fire Emblem Awakening, dude. That's awesome. Grab the coin. Gimme this! Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Yoshi's Island. Okay, pluck the little... That's it. Throw the Super Ball! They're not Fireballs in that Mario Land game. They're Super Balls. Which is something that I learned just by playing this game. So funny. That's such an obscure Mario title. Hit three balls. All right, so this was like the 3D version of one of the bosses in the very, very, uh, oh no, the very old version of WarioWare. Where it's just 2D, but it's a, now it's a 3D version of it. Come on, man, give me a home run. Home run! You're a star. I know I am. So if she's able to pick up the frying pans that are like one ton each. Ready to eat? Made hamburgers. Yes! Oh. My game! No, I can't reach it. One sec. Uh. Problem solved. Huh? No way! Uh -huh. Congratulations. Good job clearing the Magic League. This calls for a special dessert. What'll it be, Abdallah? Uh, what's my favorite dessert? Mm, ice cream? Yeah, ice cream or like a smoothie. Actually, smoothie is like an everyday kind of thing. Like every meal is a smoothie meal, you know what I mean? Um, what's my favorite? You guys tell me what your favorite dessert is and we'll ask uh, 5 Volt to make it up for us. It's smelly. Why is it stinky? So Wario found some sort of crazy contraption thing and he's like stealing it. So anyway, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think that little uh, pot is all about. It's gonna be a fun one. Alright, cake and ice cream you guys like? Pudding? Oh dude, I love pudding. Ice cream, uh, specifically vanilla ice cream, I love that. Uh, crepes, you like uh, crepes, Steven? That's pretty cool. I like crepes too. All right, here we go. Let's jump on in. Okay. Twisting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be twisting. It's all like a one-handed thing. Sushi! Mmm, give me that egg sushi. That's a good dessert right there. No! No watermelons! 
Oh, cut that long nail. His thumbnail. His thumbnail is just like... Open up that jaw with clips on his lips. <laughs> clips on his lips. Yes. That was so awesome, man, dude. Lip clips. All right, race to the finish line. Oh, this is like first person uh, driving. Oh my gosh. I'm good at driving in real life. I don't know about like motion controls, though. I'm using gyro controls, right? What are we playing? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Oh, yeah. First person mode, dude. Check this out. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Did we get him? Not yet, sir. Oh, yes! Watch out, there are actual gorillas on the street. Three gorillas. Where are we? That There's cows and gorillas in this forest. <laughs> and then, what? The road goes into the sky? Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. How? Oh, it's super easy. You're kidding me. You beat my warm-up? Great. Time to put them through the ringer. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. It's Ashley. How many of you guys know the lyrics to Ashley's song? Um, how did we learn the lyrics to Ashley's song in the previous WarioWare game, right? And then it's also in Smash Bros. Okay, so this is a twist league. I guess I, Ashley, am in charge of amusing you now. How do you feel about demon summonings? It's dangerous usually. Come watch or play my fantasy games. Either way, it's bound to be wicked. Focus, focus. You did it, Ashley! You're a natural at this summoning thing. <laughs> Why don't I translate for you? <laughs> Something about being hungry. Uh oh. Oh, the poor guy. He hasn't eaten in days. We got a big problem. Hungry's behind this. Hungry. Really? He's famous in the demon realms because he's always so hungry. Hungry. What does that sound like to you? Eat, but it's never enough. Something inside him always wants more. I'll take care of it. You, Ashley, you can't take on the hungry. Ah, he's mean, and I heard, I heard he brings fire. Uh, I don't have to come, do I? Obviously, you're my ride. Here we go. <laughs> It'll be okay. I can defeat this dark lord of yours. Just wait here. I'll be back. Meatballs <laughs> off! How did you what? Not like that's a yokai hungramps or anything. Just putting it out there. Okay, so slide the devil. Get off of that moon! That's what I was supposed to do, right? Okay, good. I was supposed to get the devil off the moon. I was supposed to crack this. The code is seven, six. Get that big diamond. A demon. A demon version of hungramps, the yokai. Reflect the light onto the ghost. Fence in the piggy! 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 Alright. Catch the butterfly. Catch the butterfly. Shave the world! How? Watch out. <laughs> T-Rex, what the heck? What are we, like, drilling? Don't drop- Oh, don't drop it! I'm rotating the wrong way I dropped that car. That's two deaths so far. Ouch. Light the fire. Oh, little Orbulons on the back. Slice them. Huh! Huh! Hey, bear. Make room for aliens in our world. Do aliens exist? Yes or no in the comments. Do you believe in aliens? I always love asking that question. Aliens. Navigate. I'm... What? No! No! I thought I was supposed to go up and not out. Reunite! It's lame, dude. Oh my gosh, what is that thing and I'm running from it. <laughs>
Here's, here's little Johnny. Johnny doesn't get hurt by heights. Uh, okay. The last one, the ostrich. Yeah. yeah, we win! Okay, that was pretty easy. Some of those mini games were pretty tough though. Like if you haven't seen them before and you don't know how to react, you just lose a life. But you get four lives and you're gonna be okay. It's finished. Yeah. Just look at hungry now. <laughs> the only thing he's craving is a big old hug. <laughs> Speaking of cravings, let's eat. Good for you. He did it! Huh, I thought that would take longer. Anyway, Dr. Krygor is ready for you. Oh, I love Dr. Krygor, man. Krygor was one of my favorites from uh, the, the WarioWare series because he's got a lot of, like, toilet humor, and that's always really funny. <coughs> okay, Twist League Sports. He's got sports. I don't know. Is he going to do any toilet humor this time around? We're going to find out. Do you have what it takes? Must fungi grow in such spooky climates? I'm all goose pimply. Cry, Gorb. Ah! Mike, thank Gallium. I mean, there you are. Yes, it is me. I was worried about you. Ah, uh, worried. Why did you run off like that? You know how I miss you. Ugh. Unknown signal detected. <laughs> Unknown. It may be a paranormal frequency. <laughs> this forest teems with otherworldly energy. <laughs> there may be a ghost. Is this just another prank, Mike? Because pranks are incompatible with your face belief. Who are you? Initiate greeting sequence. A robot? This is quite odd. I am Doris One, abandoned by my creator due to. due to. Activating face recognition. This poor, poor robot. Face recognition complete. Hmm? My creator. Was you! You left me to die! Ah! I will, I will, I will <laughs> end you now! <laughs> I'll wait here. <laughs> Move it! Oh, I'm not. So, I'm supposed to move it, not get hit. I thought I was supposed to like headbutt, like move my head. Move. Oh, okay, in the hole. Success. Okay. That's actually me. Kind of. No, it kind of looks like me. No, nah, I don't know. Do two sit-ups. Go one, two. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Synchronized swimming. Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh, we might lose. Oh, suplex. Go on his head. Oh, yeah, reindeer snowboarding down. All right. Oh, come on, I had a little bit of latency there. That's lame. I see. Dunk! <laughs> that was kind of cool. Eat that! And the acorn! Okay, here we go. I got one mushroom left, and I have to make this or else I'll lose. Oh, this is easy, right? 
Oh, go, guys. Go, go, go. Dude, I can't afford that. Go. You guys got to jump and pump. Jump and pump. Look, I'm doing this all with one hand. Okay, we made it. We lost a couple lives, but we made it. Aha, we, escaped. we escaped from the robot that you abandoned and left to die. Tell me again, why is she here? We couldn't abandon her in a haunted forest. I fabricated those frequencies. Ghosts do not exist. Yes, they do. Uh. Loading paranormal encounter. I felt it walk right through me. My fungi! I dropped them there back in that forest! Oh, my. not on your life, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Apparently Mike thinks that ghosts don't exist. What about you guys? Do ghosts exist? Let me know in the chat. I suppose I'll leave my fungi out there for another brave soul. 18 volt is up next. Have fun, Abdallah. Do I believe in ghosts? I think I believe in ghosts and aliens. Okay, so here we go with 18 volt. Now, I remember when 18 volt was introduced into the game. He's uh, he's weird, but you're gonna really like this one. All right, uh, what do you say we find a place to play some games? I got some Nintendo classics I think you'll love. I mean, I love them. Why wouldn't you? It's go time. Yes, one day closer to summer. Why'd you have to take them? All of my games. What? Who took your games? Who's that? I go by 13 amp. Rapping phenomenon. Never heard my name, well that's a shock. Forget my fame, you want his game, let's talk. You don't know this kid, so why do you care? It's really no big, I want it fair and square. I was on my way home, saw this kid looking sad Wondered what was wrong, and I thought I should ask You see, the game is yours, so I won't debate facts But maybe my rapid skills could win it back My rhymes are epic, and my beats are tight With your subpar bars, this won't be a fair fight You wanna take that gamble, then hey, let's go Enough preamble, time for the show Maybe you think there's no one better than you But if you beat me, I'll give you my games too Hey DJ, let the record spin May the very best rapper stand in here win Wow. Bravo. 13 amp. Best character in the game right now. Oh, yeah. Wind Waker. Uh, 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 yo. Nope. Sorry, Mario Bros. 3. Get the missile! Nice! <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr.? Wow. What happened to Donkey Kong Jr.? The Wii menu! Check that out! <laughs> Wii menu! Oh, that's so good. Putt. Whoa, oh, I was close. I almost missed it. <laughs> Rob the robot. Super Metroid. 
Roll him, yeah, get him, get him. Nice, that was like a burrito. Star Fox, we're in your debt. Oh, this should be like a full on game. Oh my gosh. No. We're gonna get that. <laughs> yes. I'm like, uh, maybe we should get that. And I'm like, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna get the top. That was awesome. Your beats are off the charts. Speaking of charts and stuff, Penny, you're on. So, 18 Volt is a fourth grader? There's something completely wrong with that. <laughs> There's something really wrong with I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not here to judge. <clears throat> but he that's a big fourth grader that looks like a grown man. But anyway, Penny here with the final stage of the Twist League. Long time no see. I've been cooped up in my lab. Uh, working on my latest invention. I'm still putting on the final touches, so in the meantime, check out these games I made. They're all part of That's Life theme, and they're all awesome. All right, Penny, Penny. Penny is uh, Dr. Krygor's what? Like, niece? Daughter? I don't know. What's the relation between Penny and Dr. Krygor? Just do your best. Grandpa. Granddaughter. One sip should transform any voice into audible gold. Just the catalyst I need to become a mega pop star. What? A pop star? Of course I support you no matter what. So then you don't mind being my guinea pig. Wait, Penny! Oh, my voice, the tonality, it's effervescent. Hey, it worked! You sound amazing! I must agree. I, I quite like it, but the taste, it's worse than fermented dishwater. Grandpa! Is it your stomach? There must be something. Oh, wait. I think I have just the thing. This will give your belly the probiotic punch it needs. Bottoms up! <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> Lure, come here, kitty. Yeah, look at how cute that is. <laughs> so good, I love that one. Shave. Get that nice shave on, excellent. What am I trying to... I've never, I've never said, what, what? Okay, sure. But see, sometimes it's like, that'll happen to you. But you'll have to replay it and you'll have to get it. Anyway, sharpen that pencil, man. Sharpen that pencil like in real, like, like in elementary school when you use pencils. And I think middle school you use pencils, right? The number two pencil for those Scantron tests. Hey, I'm sweeping, the cat is applauding. Get in. All right, get in, guys. The Ferris wheel, and there's like a cat going in circles. Did you see that? Weird. Earmuffs. <laughs> balance okay 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 i'm balancing i'm balancing <laughs> oh man never seen that one that's interesting demolish boom 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 okay great good job can you keep up we just destroyed someone's house give me those candies out your mouth <laughs> Out your mouth. Uh, squeeze the toothpaste. Brush those teeth twice a day. Two times, right? Two times two minutes. 
So in, so in like a boss, like a boss champ. Oh, here we go, dude. Polish. Make that melon! <laughs> sushi, which one's sushi? Not the boots. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one's easy. What do you guys think this means? What do you think this means when they're holding themselves like that? Well, I don't get this game, Abdallah. Why do they have to go one way or the other way? There's no, there's no instruction. You just have to know. You just have to know. Oh, that's the wrong one. Did I lose? Oh, dude, I straight up lost. I wasn't paying attention. I was giggling too much. At first, I thought it was boy and girl. <laughs> but it's definitely not boy and girl. <laughs> All right. Everyone's just after the show, they gotta go to the bathroom, man. Well done. It's not. It's not based on pants color, sorry Joseph. And Jake, it's not based off the it's not based off the color they're wearing either. <laughs> There's subtle, it's subtle. Right. Excellent observation. when will the effects wear off? Or maybe it was color, I don't know. I thought it's based off of if they have to go number one or number two, depending on where they're holding. <laughs> and that's what I was using. I don't know. Either they're holding up front like they gotta go number one, or they're holding number they're holding their back and they gotta go number two. Alright, well whatever, that's how it works. The end justifies the means. I gotta actually go replay that one. That's uh that's one of the first times of I've, I've seen those. Anyway. Yeah, it could be color. I, I I was not paying attention to color at all. I was looking at their positions. So anyway, that's cool. So either way, you guys can beat it however you want. When you're going to go through and replay these levels, uh, you're going to have to beat that one multiple times. And then the harder difficulties are going to be way harder. So you may have to look at colors and whatnot. So anyway, here's a touch league. Let's go uh, intro games, making touch easy stuff. If you're not worried, all right, all right, I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. Oh, so yeah, if you guys have a stylus, grab your stylus. If you lose your thingy. Okay. Scratch and sniff. Good. Fruit Ninja. All right. I missed one, but I only needed two. Give me that money. Okay. Put that in the coin purse. Frappuccino! All right. Draw in one stroke? Give me that. I could draw a square. Boss stage, man. Count me in. Ah, that was easy, right? Too easy. Cast banana. You're on. <laughs> okay, Cat and Anna. Cat, Anna. 
Okay, this is the first stage of the Touch League. We're Cat and Anna, and we're off to get our Ninja Learners permits to prepare for the test. We designed a whole bunch of games in the That's Life genre. Every day is fun, uh, the best kind because it's every day. Yes, something like that. Anyway, Cat and Anna, uh, I, thought, I thought it was going to be pronounced Anna, like Katana, but it's Anna. All right, whatever. Rest in the hands of that ninja over there. But Cat, are you sure she's a ninja? She may not look like a true ninja, but true ninjas never do. Well... Be right back. Huh? Okay, we're signed in. What's the test? We eat. Huh? To pass, we have to eat everything she dishes out. <laughs> yes, I'm so, so good at eating. What do ninjas even eat? Maybe turkey. Or apple pie? Pizza? Chowder. That's my kind of ninja, eating that big food. Here we go, rubbing, rubbing, what am I rubbing? That one cent. Ninja Yo, ninja rific, let's go. Okay, drag, I am dragging this through here. Amazing. Is that supposed to be hard? Poke two, got him. You think you guys were camouflaged, but I saw right through you like a real sushi striker. Push, third floor? I'm uh, I meant fifth floor. <laughs> so you'd press the third one because it's the first thing that you read. But set to 830? Uh, I don't know how to tell math time. That's 830. Math time, I don't know how to tell time. <laughs> of course I know how to tell time. Clothes pins. Clothes pins. Iron out those wrinkles. Don't leave the iron on it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thread the needle. Okay, go. You did it. Look at their faces when they eat that stuff. Burn. Okay. Oh. Send a sticker. It's my birthday. Congratulations. Here's a sticker. Thanks, pal. You did it. Little out of tempo, but I don't care, Granny. I'm paying you for lessons. Not the other way around. <laughs> Erase Mario's hat. Okay, why? Give me that shirt. Cool Great the carrot, dude. Yo, I'll shop in that bargain bin like a champ. Close it. Zip. Oh, that was his fly. <laughs> XYZ. XYZ. Re remember that? You guys know what XYZ means? What does that mean? When someone s tells you XYZ. All right, here we go. We're gonna add some toppings. I need the star fruit, maybe here. I'm gonna add this one, maybe. I'm thinking like here. All right, you guys gotta predict. Out of 100, how accurate do you think I'm going? Predictions now. In the chat, I wanna hear some predictions. Out of 100, what would you guys rate? My delicacy here. Out of a hundred, ready? I think that's good. Out of a hundred, let's go. Eighty two. Anyone say eighty two? I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, yeah! Tanoki Gamer said 82. Dang, dude. Good job. 
didn't get our ninja learner's permit? No, no. Department of Ninja Door. What? Sorry about that. I was in the little ninja's room. What? If you're here for your learner's permits, we're about to start. <sighs> now the true challenge begins. Come on, Yana. Oh, oh. You did it. On the bright side, that food was delicious. Prepare for battle with 9 volt necks. Anyone else still hungry? I'm, I'm kind of hungry. It's actually lunchtime. I gotta go eat. All right, here we go. Uh, we got another 600 coins. Excellent. All right, here you go. Cranking, cranking. True ninjas. Good job. Nine volt. Nine volt. Classic character since uh, first game. I'm nine volt, and this is the second stage of the touch league. I bet it's gonna be way more fun than that. I, uh, what I'm doing, studying math. I'd rather be at home with my pet Fronk, or playing the Nintendo Classics games that I made for the tournament. Think of me when you're gaming like a pro. You guys wish you knew who Fronk was. Adventure awaits. <sighs> math class again? Come on. You look less than pleased. Yeah, cause math's the worst. Wait, who said that? Uh, me. Fronk? Wh wh why? We've been over this a million times. Pets aren't allowed in school. Excuse me, I'm no pet. It's not as if you own me. Hey, keep it down. I'm worried, Nine Volt. You really hate math? Uh, yeah, kinda. Let's see here. Huh, 100 minus 56. Oh. How about this? A hero has 100 hit points and takes 56 damage from an enemy. What's his remaining HP? 44, right? Exactly. Good work. Now let's try the next one. A wizard casts 12 spells, and each deals 42 damage. What's the total damage? 504! Aha! Uh -huh. See, you are good at math. But that wasn't math. That was just video game stuff. That's the idea. So just imagine math's a game, an RPG. It's like math is a war, and these problems are the battles! Sort of. Numbers are enemies, mortal enemies! They must be defeated! Time to fight! It's one way to get the kids motivated, right? Test their love! Mm. Unbelievable! Okay. Protect Mario. Awesome! <laughs> beating up DK in the corner. Nintendo Switch! On 3DS! Lips, lips, lips. Up. Oh. That's the me maker. Yeah. Increase speed. Mario Paint. Wow, that's a throwback right there. I actually didn't hear that one, so that was me lucky. I, I don't really have the sound on that loud. Match. Was that? What's that called? The 10 billion barrel? Yeah! Out of the way! Boom, boom, get him out! It's like they were just casually racing and then out of nowhere, like they go flying off. Like, imagine that. <laughs> Find the stylus! Oh, I don't. Oh, oh. That's a 2DS! Nintendo 2DS! Got him. Shoot the dog, man. Duck hunt dog. Get him. Oh, you guys know that? You guys know this? You know this. I know you guys know that. If you guys are subscribers of mine, you know what that is. <laughs> Get it for me. <laughs> oh, please tell me. Go ahead. First person to tell me what game that's from. Please, in the chat right now. Yes, Charles Davis, you got it. Give me that fish! Get out of here, crab. Give me that fish! I don't understand this. Like, why does he have a fish in his back pocket? You rule. 
Like, yeah, it's a fun way of introducing that little grabbing thing from Nintendo, but, like, what? Hey, I beat the game. You're a hero. Thanks to my apprentice. Don't call me that. You know, you kind of make mad fun, Frank. I'd like to pay you back. Want my dessert tonight? No, who enjoy it. An old guy like me's got to avoid the sweet. Old? You're not old. I just turned one last month. One? That's right. Want to know my secret? It's 8-bit yoga. Frog's not one year old. That was unbelievable. You must love games as much as I do. Time for Young Cricket and Master Mantis. Ready, Abdallah? I am. Frog, like, he's been... I don't even remember, like, the first time Frog's been around. Was he in WarioWare 1? Like, the Game Boy Advance version? Probably not by name, but he was, like, a little character in, like, one of the minigames, I'm sure. But uh, maybe his time is different than our time, Frog. The greatest hero ever. Huh? Well, what time is it? Oh no, I fell asleep! Worry was gonna get away! Thanks for the snuggles. <laughs> Thanks for the snuggles, random dog that came and sat next to me. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the third stage of the Touch League. My name is Cricket, and I suggest you pay close attention. My mentor, Master Mantis, is about to introduce me to a state-of-the-art training center. Uh, I can only imagine what kind of sports-themed games we'll encounter while we're there. Uh, let's go! Alright, Cricket. Cricket. Yes, Master. We must train. Harder than ever, pushing ourselves to the edge. Right! Body and mind. For we must never neglect the intellect. Never, Master. All this is why I have put us in the gravest of danger. But, Master, isn't this a park for amusement? All these rides, so many balloons. Am I wrong, Master? Open your inner eye, Cricket. Oh, that. The Chromaconda roller coaster. Riding a giant snake through the sky at 100 miles an hour. Breakneck falls. Master the plunge. From that height in those rapids, it's just a log, Master. Just a log. Thus we push ourselves, thus we excel. Incredible. How wrong I was about this place. I am a fool, but eager to prove myself. Then follow me to precious prancers. I see, Master. A trial like no other. I must step into the spinning stampede and tame these untamable beasts. Prepare. Will you chase death or death chase you? Ready, Master. The best place to train at an amusement park while on top of one of these horses. Tickle. Oh, that was weird. I don't want to scratch that guy's armpit. Really? Cool. I'm open. Nice. The secret of my success, a bowl of curry every day. Pretty good. Tuck that leg in, dude. Sweet. Yeah, there's a monkey. There's a monkey. I, I think that was a monkey. If that wasn't a monkey, no offense. Ooh, one. You did. Give me those clothes! You got it. Your clothes! Give them to me now! Swim, 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 swim! Yeah! <laughs> that should be Waluigi. Why is it Waluigi in this game? Uh, both lower. Alright, they are both lower. Don't look at me, duck. Wow! Giddy up! Yeah, 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 yeah! Spank it! <laughs> What am I doing, man? Here we go. Watch closely. Uh, red dude one. Not afro. That afro was slowing him down, I'm telling you. Divide. Like this! What do you mean? One of each? Not one of each. It was, it was the opposite way. Divide the... 
All right, whatever. A bowl! Oh no, we're bowling. All right, here we go. Strike, first try, watch. Hello! 710, come on. 710's trash. Oh, but he picked it up in three strokes. Pretty good. Training complete. The only way, dude, imagine if I got the 710 and two and two balls. This deed, most of all, was my favorite. Mm, nice horsey. Yeah. Nice horsey. Cricket, you've picked up a passenger. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't notice. Little girl, get off. Aww. So what's the diamond wheel? But first, Cricket, the trial of the lost child. Yes, of course. Come on, giddy up, horsey. Well done. I congratulate you. What skill? You have truly mastered these games. Orbulon is next, so are you ready for the challenge? Of course I'm ready for the challenge. Dude, Orbulon's the best, man. Remember the Orbulon Award from when we used to play uh, Sketch every uh, New Year's? Super fun. All right, here we go. Let's move on. Uh, you've earned 600 coins. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's crank it. And we got some movie cutscenes that we can rewatch. And here we go, ladies and gents. This is the um, the Touch League for Orbulon. Greetings. You've come upon the final stage of the Touch League. I'm Orbulon. I am no uh, Earth folk like you, but I still enjoy the savory delights of this planet. Mmm, delights. While they do not satiate hunger, my fantasy-themed games will surely provide ample amusement. Okay, so ladies and gents, one of the uh, one of the last levels. Let's do it. You think we can make it? Giganta Burger. Have a great day. Welcome to Giganta Burger. What can I get you? French style out fries, please. No salt, no grease. Cold South Zero. Chili fries coming right up. Earth food, so scrummy, so starchy. Chili fries? That's not chili fries. Welcome to Giganta Burger. What can I get you? A shake. The milky kind with extra picante. Chili shake coming right up. Too fast. Oh my brain freeze. Still hungry. Still hungry. Welcome to Giganta Burger. What can I get you? I would like to eat nine mega burgers, please. No, ten, please. Sorry, sir. We just sold our last one. <laughs> yeah, we're all out of hamburgers. Understood. I will procure the hams you require to complete my order. What? Uh, you still there? I may be a while. Locating hams is risky, biz. Uh, sure. Locating hams, and those are indeed hams. Sort by shape. Ah, oh, paddles and orbs. I don't want any pork burgers. Who's a ghost? It's a yokai. It must be the work of a yokai. Yo, these pork burgers, dude. I don't know how I feel about that. Defeat. Got him. Sweets, please. Um, no hammers. Oh. The sun. Real fruit. That's a pig's butt. <laughs> That's a pig's butt. Raise the... Oh, hey, Enzo. What's up, dude? Trace. The pyramids. That and that's how the pyramids were built, ladies and gentlemen. Kick out this cat. Okay. Or was that a wolf? I don't know. Tickle that pig's nose. Tickle him. Build a bridge. All right, happy feet. I got you, buddy. <laughs> happy feet. How many guys saw that movie? Spell ma'am, M-A-M. Okay. Inflate the camel's hump, and that's how camels also get bigger humps, too. 
See, you're learning all sorts of life lessons by watching. Match. Oh, I... What is that? Is that a taper? Spin? Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen that animal. That's not your average grow up on the farm animal. Thief! Oh, I love Thief! Yes, Thief! How many of you guys remember playing Thief? Dude, Thief was the best. Okay, so we got a tall guy with beady little eyes and like an orange nose and a mouth. Tall blonde hair. Beady eyes. Oh, I think it's this one. It could be this guy running right now. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, in the black shirt? No, no, he's wearing a, he's a striped shirt, a blue striped shirt. Come on, dude, turn around! It's not, I think it may be this guy. Oh, yeah, him, 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 him. That's him. Yeah, you. Wait, where did you go? <gasps> it's this guy. I got 10 seconds. Hurry up. Yeah, you, dude. I know it. I know. You thief. That's tough. You can't rush into that. You need to look. I thought it was him, but then I didn't realize that he had a shirt. But you guys remember Thief from our channel? So, see, he didn't slaughter the pigs. Chance, mister. Bob, what on earth are you thinking? We can't cook those things here. Are you not a chef? No, I'm in high school. They don't even let me work the grill. Just get out of here, okay? My mistake. Come, little hammies. Oh, he left one. My congratulations. The touch league has been completed by you. Please accept one of my hammies as your reward. What's he gonna do with all these hammies? Let me know in the chat. What do you guys think he's gonna do? Just gonna become friends? He's gonna give them his gifts to people? Gigantaburger. I thought that was one of my favorite little cutscenes. Bet you think you're some kind of big shot. Well, think again. If you want to see a really big shot, then get a load of this. <laughs> Prepare for the Ultra League. Ultra! Okay, we've made it, guys. We're here to the Ultra League. These are the last three, and then we're going to be done with the entire story mode. So I wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you guys who have enjoyed the Let's Play so far. Uh, pick up WarioWare Gold when it releases in your country. If you guys are in uh, the UK or Australia, you guys have access to it as of right now. If you guys are in Japan and North America, you got to wait until later on next week at the time of recording, of course. So here we go. Let's jump into the Ultra League. The Ultra League is going to be a little bit different. Um, a lot of people are going to be there. They've got a few surprises up their sleeve, etc., etc. Oh, yeah. I like the Kool-Aid Man. Here we go. Starting now. Club Joe. <sighs> Guess I'll close up early tonight. Yo, Joe! Let's get this place bumping. I'm on it. We'll pack your club in no time. Oh. We brought a bunch of food with us. Oh my goodness. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Whoa. I believe that's my cue. Hit. Yeah. Oh, I have some hot moves of my own. Just watch and learn. So nice. <laughs> People left. Also enjoy novelty and surprise. And they'll love our creations. My games will blow you away. They're simple. Find the mic first, next, face it, then blow into it. It's fun to switch things up. Tutorial now concluded. I've got pop-up games. They're a lot like me, extremely short. And almost just as fun. Now let's party! Mike minigames, man. <clears throat> Whoa, hey now, cat. Way to go. You're not Gizmo. Gizmo loves the water. Here we go. Throw. 
Not bad. Oh, yeah! Okay, that was a little scary. I legitimately blew into the mic, and it worked. Shave that. Oh, that stubble? Gone. That's like the level 2 version of the game, I think. Hey, we're dancing here. You got this. It's heating up. Twist. Excellent. Touch. Superb. Twist. Impressive. Uh, pass it. Pretty good. Totally amazing. That was close. I went to touch three. I didn't hear them say mash. Now we're gonna win this one. Okay. Yep. There we go. Eat the whole pizza! Dumb! You did it. Twist. Give me those candies out your mouth! One of them was just a straight up strawberry though. Twist. Excellent. Oh! Close one. Touch. Again with the fly? It's like a horizontal fly. What? XYZ, dude. Show me what you got. Oh, Gaz Puncho. What you know about Gaz Puncho? Boom, out of here. It's a play on words. It's very punny. Looking good. Oh yeah, I love it. The dance floor is on fire. Now that was a party. When it comes to gaming, you clearly have a gift. Don't let us down in the next round. So I'm thinking over here. Can you have a blow dryer pointing at your Nintendo 3DS mic? And you could play the micro games and just keep on like winning the blowing, the same blowing micro game? Like if it's the, the dandelion one, for example. If you wanted to go for like a world record on that, like 999 score, you would just put the blow dryer on and let it go. I really want to test that. I should try that later. Hmm. Anyway, Ultra League, I'm throwing a barbecue and everyone's going to bring their favorite food. Nine Volt and Frank have been drooling since yesterday. Join the Podluck gang for some games too, including some from the Nintendo classics and fantasy genres. All right, here we go. Was a bad idea. 
idea. Cheer up, kiddo. I brought something else I know you'll really like. Oh? Are you saying what I think we're gonna, we're gonna play, play games? games? <laughs> <laughs> okay, potluck gang. Uh, that was cool. I never saw the little mouse blowing game. Afro dude flying? Okay. Hey, Nintendo, give me that thing. Oh, dude, totally crashed. Totally crashed. Oh, it's touch, man. Jump. Oh, so you got to pay attention. the big cat out of there so good. Twist. sunshine your favorite game what? Yes. Touch. blast them out of there dude excite bike and wheelie at the end Crazy chicken. Hey, you guys wish you knew what fish that was in Animal Crossing. Only the true Animal Crossing fans will name that fish. We go it's the mom we're playing as the mom with our new one ton frying pan and we got the we got a, a max score on our first hit oh another one yeah two 125 that's two home runs man yes. we're not even messing around What a win. Next up is the final match. Wario won't be pulling any punches, so give it all you got. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the final boss. The final boss and then the story mode is absolutely done. We'll go into some other modes in the game just so that you guys are aware of what else is there besides these micro games and all these different themes. There's actually a lot packed into this title and I'm very, very happy about it. All right, so I'd pay attention if I were you. I'm not gonna make this easy. So final boss, Wario time. Let's get a show a thumbs up in the chat if you guys are excited for it. Thanks again for coming out. Let's do this.
here to collect your reward, eh? Too late, the prize was already claimed by me! That's right, you chumps! <laughs> you never stood a chance, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the money, the power! I feel it inside, gurgling, building, it's, uh, it's, uh, explosive! <laughs> oh, ho, 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 Now, do your worst. Next to me, you're all number two. Okay, so we're playing against evil Wario? Possessed Wario? What kind of hat is that? Cut blue! Go! Oh, 3D Wario. Wow, that was actually pretty good. Oh my gosh! I had to think about that. Okay, so it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, come on, just leave your hand there, dude! Look at that body, man. It's a pretty skinny body. Like, what? I thought Wario was chunky. Give me these Goombobways. Boom! Smush them. Oh, dude, the last one. Not bad. That's Wario as like a beetle. You can see like he, it's got his helmet. <laughs> Look at big eyes. <laughs> Somebody stop me! <laughs> oh, I remember that. Get up there, dude. We're not playing anymore. Oh, yeah. Flip it up and walk back and catch it in the same pan. No way. Impossible. Don't try it at home, kids. Look at Lulu. Like, what's Lulu's problem? The Eggman. Robotnik. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Skating board. Oh, dude, I. Oh, come on, man! I'm gonna lose! Shake hand. What? I got one chance to do this, or else I'm gonna lose. Believe. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start thing. Three, 
WarioWare Rhythm Game. Oh, <laughs> oh, tapping. Well, there you go. That's the game. That's the game. What did you guys think? Pretty cool? About an hour and 40 minutes from start to finish. Not bad. I don't think I had to use any continues either, which is pretty cool. Uh, 13 Amp, best new character. Uh, Lulu is kind of cool. Uh, I guess what happened was he stole a potty that an entire town uses. Apparently, Luxville, there's no such thing as a bathroom. They all use the same pot, and that's it. Congrats, you beat the game. Hey guys, I'm back! Your hero has returned! There you are, Lulu. Did you sneak off to try out our new high-tech toilet? Huh? It's so refreshing. Even I must admit, it was love at first set. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we split the money. Wario was about to steal from the tournament. It wasn't much, but here's your share. 10,000 coins. Beautiful. And of course, we get the movie, who is uh, Wario Deluxe. And uh, yeah, so we got even more. So that's interesting. So you collected all the movies in the toy room, which is great. And now I get to show you guys a little bit of extra stuff. You guys want to see some extra stuff or, you wanna, or do you guys want to call it a live stream now? Choice is up to you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, by all means, smash that like button. Let's hit 500 likes and I'll show you guys a little bit more. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. And so Lulu goes out to rescue a potty that the entire town uses, yet they're already working on a new high-tech potty with a built-in bidet that everyone in the town uses. So... Interesting. But uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. So thanks for hitting that like button, guys. All right, let's take a look. We'll take a quick look and see what we got here. So the story mode, you guys saw everything that we had to see over here. Of course, what you can do is you can go through and play all these games all over again. And no, it doesn't stop at 15. It's gonna keep on going until you lose all your lives. So you can get high scores and you can unlock new mini games simply by playing them uh, more and more in succession. So uh, what do we all have over here? We got some challenge modes. These are all different various challenges here. I'll actually show you my other file. Let's go to the other file here. Okay, so there's WarioWare Gold. Uh, that was that was actually really fun, just going through the main story for you guys. Uh, we'll, we'll give you guys a little bit of extra. So here we go. No, that was the wrong file, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the title screen, I'll show you guys what's going on. So, go to start. Uh, this is the file that I played on my ride in from Vegas. Um, well, it was like a four hour plane ride. So, challenge mode is interesting, I'll show you guys what it's all about. Uh, this one's called All Mixed Up. Uh, it's pretty much all of them and all in a row, so that's really it. Uh, this one over here is called Thrill Ride. Fail just once in this mode and it's game over for you. So it's pretty much you only get one life to live and then you're just gonna go through all of the different uh, mini games on board. Uh, this one's interesting, this one's called Super Hard. Uh, now these are like super, super fast. Like they will just keep on going. It's, it's really ridiculously hard. This one's interesting, Wario Watch. It's a mode where you can go through and every time you beat a minigame, depending on how fast you beat it, you'll gain time. And then each uh, each minigame deducts time from you. So it's interesting. Uh, the Sneaky Gamer is interesting too because this is just like the, um, the mode in the previous WarioWare game. And I know in Smash Bros there's a level like that where, uh, where the mom is in the background and the mom like scares you, but you have to like sleep. It's interesting. Uh, this one is Wario Interrupts. This one is you're playing the mini games and he's gonna like fog up your screen. He's gonna turn your screen upside down. He's gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff. This one's called Cruise Controls where, um, oh yeah, so you can play mini games and if you, if you tilt, if you tilt forward, the mini games go faster. And if you tilt backwards, the mini games go slower. So it's your opportunity to go through and uh, try to get the fastest time. So the fastest time would be playing them all in like fast mode, but then that gets really, really fast. Uh, split screen is interesting. Uh, it's gonna be top and bottom screens. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then of course there is a straight up multiplayer mode. One of you guys are wondering what other modes there are. There is a multiplayer mode and it's not, it's, it's not one game that splits uh, into other ones like download play. It's not download play. So you're absolutely going to need another person that has this game and you can go face to face with them. Which is kind of cool. I, I don't remember another WarioWare game having that. So those are the extra modes over that way. Uh, Index is pretty interesting because you can go through every one of these characters and you can you can play all their mini games. You can see over here that we have a lot of them unlocked. And when you play a specific mini game, it'll allow you to go through each of the three difficulties, meaning uh, easy, medium, hard, and then it'll speed up and it'll do easy, medium, hard again, keep on speeding up, etc., etc., until you get a, a really, really high score or lose all four of your lives. So yeah, like you can see over here, uh, there are some mini games that are yet to be unlocked. You simply have to go through the story mode and play the characters' uh, mini games in order to unlock every single one of them. And of course you can sort. You can sort by all Nintendo games. I uh, took the time to unlock all of those because those are absolutely really, really fun. So I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so that was pretty interesting. You can sort them into whatever, fantasy, mic mini games, etc. Okay, so that's great. That's showing you every single mini game in existence. Uh, let's just do, I think, can't you sort by all? Oh, uh, you probably can. Anyway, here's Arcade. 
So what the arcade is cool is that you got the capsule machine and we've shown that before. Uh, there's no, it's kind of like a gotcha, but you can eventually empty it, which is super fun. So I'm gonna actually spend 600 of my coins right over here and we're gonna get something. And this is studio session time, time to sparkle. Okay, so that's interesting. And then of course you can spend a lot of them rather than do the many cranks. You're just gonna spend 6,000, you'll get like 10 cranks. It's not a deal, there's no value in it, which is kind of silly, but whatever. Okay, so Toy Room is really where it's at, okay? I don't have everything unlocked. There's a lot of mini games here, oh my gosh. There's Memory Match, a memory mini game you can play. Uh, Root Awakening, which was so cool. Uh, Autograph, which is another cool mini game. And Pumpkin Panic, there's, there's actually very cool ones. But yet, there's so many other ones that I have not unlocked and they're inside that gumball machine. So if you guys are wondering like, hey, how do you unlock the rest of them? You have to crank them out. So it's random. Uh, phones, this is interesting. Uh, you can unlock little phone codes. And then if you punch the codes into the phone, you'll get a little conversation. So a little something uh, interesting there. So I cranked a whole bunch of these uh, secret codes. Uh, let's see, what's studio mode? Studio mode is where you can go through the cutscenes and you can voice record yourself talking in the cutscenes. Meaning it'll pick up your, your voice in the Nintendo 3DS mic and you can voice out the scenes and then replay it back. Which is very unique, so uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, movies, you can see all the different cutscenes in the game, which is pretty fun. We've already unlocked them all simply by playing through story mode. Uh, cards is, they're just like little collector's cards. Hey, here's Mona's card. She's a C rank. And I don't know, she's a type scissors. I don't know what you do with these things, to be honest. Power, SP, timer, points, partner is the dog dude. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what these cards do. So you guys can figure it out, let me know. Uh, you've got, uh, this is like the Nintendo collections area. You can learn a little bit more about the Nintendo items. So this is a, uh, this is a Game Boy. Unlike the Game & Watch, uh, it tells you exactly when it was released, where it was released. Uh, and then of course you can kind of look in here and learn a little bit more about the old systems, which is kind of fun. I do like that there is a straight up collection uh, on four batteries, 35 hours of gameplay, which was awesome. You had a link cable, played Tetris. How many guys had one of these Game Boys? I truly did not have one of these Game Boys. My parents did not buy me one when these came out. We had everything else besides this old school Game Boy. But uh, yeah, I had all the other Game Boys, like Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, uh, Game Boy Color. Dude, I had all the other Game Boys, but the original one did not have. Anyway, so uh, what do we got? We got records over here. Uh, you can listen to music. You can listen to your favorite Ashley song if you wanted to, right? So yeah, you can you can listen to music and whatnot. That's kind of cool if you unlock it all. Uh, there's some there's some Mona music. Uh, there is Dance and Pirates. There's some other things. But as you guys can see over here, there's plenty of it. And it's not like you can use the coins to buy them, which is kind of lame. You know, I would much rather be like, oh, I want to buy all the music first. So I'm gonna spend all my coins on the music instead of like the other stuff. But I don't know. I can see where they're where they're at. They want you to play more, so they're gonna put it in a gotcha machine. Anyway, and then there's miscellaneous stuff. Uh, Orbion voice changer. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's one of Dr. Krigor's. Oh, interesting. I don't even, I've never even touched that. This is where you scan an amiibo. I don't, I think I have a Detective Pikachu amiibo in here and I don't have my reader writer. I do have my reader writer. You know what? Let's see what Pikachu does. Okay, so I have my reader writer and I have my Detective Pikachu amiibo on my desk over here. So I don't know if the non Nintendo, I mean, it is Nintendo, but you, you guys know what I mean. Anyway, so here we go. Let's try this out. This is my Detective Pikachu amiibo. I've never scanned an amiibo yet, so let's give it a shot. How oh, where'd you find this thing? This is all I can do. Yeah, see, that's what I that's what I was talking about. Like the the non Nintendo, sure. The non-Nintendo ones will give you some garbage stuff. It's just like, what game was that where we were scanning on all the amiibo? It's like Miitopia. Like sometimes you'll get some stuff. Like the, I bet, I doubt the Fire Emblem ones will work. But um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Wait a second. You make it, you can make money off of these? Dude, I got a whole box of amiibo. Oh, that's gonna be great. Oh man. Anyway, 
So I think like the regular Mario series are probably gonna work, but like Detective Pikachu, yeah, dude, I doubt it. So anyway, that's that. Kind of lame, but whatever. I'll maybe we'll do a live stream if you guys want to see it. We'll do a live stream of scanning in all the amiibo, and you guys can request whatever amiibo we're gonna scan into this thing. Okay, so that's the amiibo functionality in the game. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't have another amiibo on my desk, so whatever. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, let's see, what else we got? You've got some 3D models that you can mess around with. This is an, nine, an 18 volt alarm clock. I don't know. Uh, and then some random contraptions, random components. Okay, so yeah, that was that's pretty much it in the game. You go into the challenge mode, you go into story modes. Oh, and then missions too. I guess I, I can talk to you guys about missions. Uh, there are so many achievements. So if you guys have ever played a game with achievements on there, score 45 or higher, uh, you guys can see that there are so many achievements in this entire game. Oh my, there's, one, there's, there's ones that I don't even know the title to. There's just so much. Anti-sneeze, clear level two in nosedive without pressing the A button. Like what? Okay, that's cool. All pumped up. Like there's so many little things that you can aim for and you're gonna get rewarded with coins for every single one of these things. So yeah, that's um, crash right into small object in crazy cars. Like it, these are so obscure. So yeah, anyway, you can claim them if you wanted to. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We can chat for a little bit about WarioWare in general. If you guys wanna talk, I'm here for you. Uh, man, what did you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and questions inside the comments below. But yeah, that was a, it was a fun time. And I think that this game is jam packed. If you guys want me to try a different mode, any of the modes that I actually showed you, let me know in the chat right now and I'll give you guys a little bit of that gameplay. Uh, I think we'll do one mode and we'll take the most popular mode in there. So remember, there were some challenge modes. There were some new mini games that you've never before seen, which is pretty cool in the toy room. These mini games are actually really, really fun. Memory match, not that fun. Um, I Root Awakening is kind of cool. It's like it's like playing hot potato. Uh, Autograph is silly. And then of course, Pumpkin Panic is legit, like a really, really cool game. So uh, let me know. You guys are here. There's about 400 of you guys watching. So yeah, let me know. Uh, you think your kids would love playing this game? Yeah, I, I, it's definitely a cool kids game. Um, and like, even then, there, it's challenging. It's truly challenging. Uh, we can try super hard mode a little bit. Uh, Ashek wants that. Uh, use the gotcha. Oh yeah, we could use the gotcha. I got 600, so we might as well buy it. And dude, if you're gonna actually 100% this game, good luck, because that's gonna take you hours. So now I got a new Nintendo 3DS, so in the miscellaneous section, I can go take a look at a 3D model. Oh man. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the K, yes, it does. Wario, Waluigi. I think the only mode. Oh, you guys want to see me do gamer mode? Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Let, let's give that challenge. Let's do that. So here we go. This is gamer, sneaky gamer. Nine volt. I I've never beaten this. It's game time. So what you have to do is you have to play the mini games, and then when your mom comes in the background, you have to sleep. And the mom comes on the TV. So you gotta pay attention to the top and bottom screen. Oh, come on! It's like Five Nights at Freddy's, man. It's that scary. Hide? Hide that belly. That's a cat! Dude, where's the mom at? Oh! Oh, dude! Yo, did you see that? Did you see that? Tell me you saw I did that, like, right on the money. Oh, 
Oh, dang it. Oh! How <laughs> stupid, Frunk! Come on, man, I let go of L and R. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you play that game. A little silly. So... I think you have to actually... You have to beat the boss while dodging the mom. So, yeah, and then there's level 2, level 3, and then there's Endless, which is kind of cool. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. And of course, yes, you have to play optimally. Yes, I was pressing it way too early, but you have to do it very optimally. Like that one time the mom came in through the door and it said, great. Yes, you can do that for super high scores. All right, so that was kind of cool. Uh, let's do uh, phones. That's kind of lame. I'll give you guys a, a different thing. All right, so we're going to try super hard. Some of you guys asked for super hard. We'll do that for a little bit. And then we'll go um, in five minutes. Dodge. Oh, okay. Dude just walked right into me. Didn't even say sorry. Somebody stop me. Count. Hey. Asteroids, okay. What's the name of the little Russian nesting dolls? Give me that pizza. All oh, from downtown, dude. I was predicting where that was going. Which side? Ah, uh, bounce on that side. Out. Outwit. Uh, slap face. But yeah, see, this is pretty much hard mode. Uh, so you jump like a chicken. Easy. And it just goes like really, really super fast. Hook! Defeat the enemy. Go, Crom! Beat up Victor. Nope. Out of the way! Oh my gosh. Can't you see I'm dancing here? Boogers! Oh! These cats are a little bit heavier. Just a little bit. Search for that cat. I don't know where he is. You! I pressed the A button, whatever, whatever. Which one, where's my car, where's my Uber? Wait, you kept on walking, no. I thought I was the one moving him. Oh man, that's lame. All right, anyway, so again, it's super hard, but you guys can keep on challenging yourself for high scores with that one. Uh, did you guys see anything else? Uh, did you guys see anything else that you wanted to see? I got about three minutes that I can chat with you guys for a little bit. I want to keep it around two hours. So toy room, uh, mini games. Yeah, you know, I want to show you this one because it's actually really fun. This one's called Pumpkin Panic. Okay, so you gotta protect the patch, and look, fully 3D modeled Ashley here. Ashley! So really what you wanna do in this game is, um, you wanna turn these little aliens into, uh, into pumpkins, and then kick them into each other for a high score. And the pumpkins will try to run towards the right hand side of the screen. And if they run towards the right-hand side of the screen, they'll break the fence. And then once the fence is broken, then they will, um, then you lose. It's game over. Because they're trying to get to the crops or something like that. And if you get hit, you just get stunned. There's no health meter. Oh! 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 And now here's like kind of a mini game, like reprieve little area that you can play. And when you get enough of those orbs, you can press the B button and then you can clear the entire screen. In case it goes way too tough and you can't really see what's happening, you can clear the entire screen. But I'll show you guys up to a boss battle. I don't need that pumpkin. It's about to get interesting. All right, so here's the boss. So now these boss battles are a little interesting because you have to... Oh, he broke it, dang. Like you have to kick the pumpkins at him. There we go, sweet! So, that's it, and then I'll show you guys what happens when you lose. Let me just do this really quick. 
because we got a treasure chest on the bottom there. And every time you get a treasure chest, um, cool stuff happens. Anyway, I'll do my magic thing, watch. So here we go, we'll use the magic. We'll turn Super Saiyan. And then boom, everyone turns into pumpkins and you waste your entire meter for that. So kind of cool. So all the more reason to keep on trying, but I'll let them take over just so you guys can see what happens. So game over, they get the eggplants, you get a high score, and then of course you get a prize too. And then you can see the gallery, all the things that you have. So my prize was like the, the white haired Ashley little cutout. And you can see all these different little things too. It's a game within a game. And I think that's, that's really amazing. Some of you guys might discount WarioWare as like, oh yeah, 40 bucks for like, whatever, me playing through all these mini games and I beat it in two hours, it's not worth it. But then, really, there's gems hidden within there. You just have to do the time. You have to unlock them with coins. And it's actually really fun. There's a lot of cool mini games. And I don't even have all every single one of them. So, anyway, it's a good game. It's, it's an absolutely good game. Get this game when it comes out on the, uh, on the 3rd of August. All of you guys in the United States. All of you guys in the UK. All of you guys in uh, Australia. You guys already have access to the game, so download it and uh, go from there. But that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this showcase of the entire full game of WarioWare Gold, by all means, smash that like button and share the video with a friend. We had a great time doing it. And I love WarioWare, man. I feel right at home with this. A lot of the mini games were kind of new takes on the older mini games that I played when I was when I was in high school. That's when the Game Boy Advance WarioWare came out. And I remember a skating board. I remember a paper plane. Like, true story, Jess and I used to like, I used to let her borrow my Game Boy Advance SP and she would play WarioWare and we'd try to go back and forth getting high scores. She'd get really upset when I beat her at skating board, high score of like 300 or something like that. Dude, it's so good. But anyway, uh, enough about that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. You guys are an amazing crowd. Um, I've got a couple more videos that I'll make, like some all Nintendo video, Nintendo games showcase, maybe like an all mini game showcase, boss battle showcase. We'll do all that fun stuff very soon. So stay, stay tuned for it. And of course we are doing a giveaway of the copy of the game. So make sure you guys all smash the like button, answer a comment question of the day. Which micro game was your favorite that you saw on screen over here? And of course, enter our giveaway site, links in the description below. That's it, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.